Business in the front. Party in the back. Ground effects looking good. The build is starting to look good. Y'all like it? See if I can get some light to hit it. There you go. So I got the pump and reservoir in. Motherboard, block, RGB RAM. Starting to put in the sleeves. I got the power supply in. And now I am adding the ground effects. And I got one more to add on to it to give it a significantly better glow because you can kind of see it underneath. So if I put another one in there, it'll light up the front too real well. But it's definitely achieving the look that I want to give it. What do y'all think? Think this build's starting to come out? Stay tuned to it, guys, because it's coming. We're working on it. I'm waiting for the water cooling stuff to arrive. The tubes and the fittings and the radiator. Oh, also I added the gigabyte, uh, five gigahertz Wi-Fi motherboard PCI Express card. It goes right there, it runs out to the back. And then I have a, an, a, a gigabyte antenna and that goes with it. It's an included antenna and it screws in the back and stuff, but the carbon fiber is looking great. I love it. It really adds a pop to it, especially with that light. Uh, the fans inside are going to be green. Um, the motherboard is going to be blue. The reservoir is going to be blue. And then the accents and the cables and stuff will be blue. Uh, even the tubing that we're going to run is probably going to be blue. Um, so yeah, it's a progress. Got an EK water block on there. That's a nice one. That's the MX Supremacy. So, oh, we got a uh, M.2 drive. That's coming in the mail tomorrow. It's a 256 megabyte um, NVMe SSD. And it reads and writes at like 1600 megabits. So it's going to be extremely fast. And yeah, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, the shop is a disaster right now, but that's kind of what happens when you're building a masterpiece. So stay tuned to it. Oh, also, I carbon fibered the, um, <clears throat> what you call it, the pump. Yeah, let me uh, lay it down so you guys can really get to see it. See, I carbon fibered the pump in the back wall to kind of give it an accent and yeah so oh also remember how I said I was probably gonna to have to take out that that hard drive cage in the back to give me more room well look I took that hard drive cage out and you see that look how much more room it gave me I can fit a whole nother power supply in here so it really freed up a lot of space when I took that out because I have controllers and all kinds of little things. I mean, all this needs to go in here because we're going to be running sleeve extenders. And then we're going to put our hard drives here because we're running two SSDs. Um, a one terabyte hard drive, which will just sit in here. And then we're running the MVME M.2. And we're running the, M the MVME M.2 in the front. So we'll have one two three four four hard drives hooked to it technically nvme two ssds and then a terabyte um the terabyte is going to be my dump storage anything that i want to store and just kind of dump it and leave it and not let it really affect the system that will go on that one terabyte the two ssds in the back they're going to be ran in raid the M.2 drive, even though it's a 256 megabyte, it's only going to be a boot drive. That's all it's going to do is just boot the system. This is going to be my editing and streaming build because I would like to do live streaming out here in the garage and stuff. So I need a build that will stand the test of time and, well, look good while we're doing it. So I hope you guys like it. Please support me. By giving me a like, sharing it. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, Patreon, Tumblr, 
a bit tube quite a bit we got a group and a business page so yeah all right guys i'm getting out of here just wanted to show y'all this these were the hard drive cages that i took out of there but i'm gonna go ahead and finish and install the other enclosure the other green this is green right yeah right there it says green ah I want it blue, but they didn't have blue. They only had purple, white, and green. So I went with green. Oops. I got one more to go in here. Those are in. And then what we'll do we'll snake them through. Okay, so it's time to mount the graphics card. And I got all my SATA cables pushed in there nice and neat. Um, I just ran my 8 pin power. So I need to. Is there something in there? Oh, okay, so I need to put this sucker in. It's always fun. I should get some kind of award for building a camera with one, or building a computer with one hand. Because I seem to do that quite often. Is that in there? Is that going to be good? Why do I feel like that's all full of? There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Good little push. Is it seated? Yep, the little thing clicked. So we are good. How's it look? How's the angle from y'all's view? Can you see it down there? Is it fully seated? It looks it. Yep, looking good. Now what we will have to do is get, get our sleeve extensions and I'm not sure how I'm gonna run sleeve extenders you can usually run them like this way okay and then you'll have this big blue cable there or you can run them sideways and run them through that I actually think that's the way I'm going to try to do it is that way ran into a small issue look if I put the cables there then they're going to be in the direct path of the tube and the tube has to be able to run through here which I hope there's enough clearance there is there enough clearance between here and there or am I screwed or do I have to move this thing over a notch I wasn't sure about the placement of this with everything else but you know I have to take a chance and mount it some dang where or I could run the cables through the front down there and run them up and over. Um, but I would really like for you to be able to see that aura. I mean, that thing's pretty. Plus, I have a GPU bracket that's going to go on here, too. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's get that, shall we? Turn this. Come back here. Go in the RGB section, which is right there. And we got it by up here it's a good good Japanese brand I was surprised on how big this thing was it's like wow this thing is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be I haven't even tested this thing out I mean it's brand spanking new I don't even know if it works I hope it works what I dropped nothing okay so where's this supposed to go? I guess it goes up in there, up on that stuff, and then it sits along this route, like that. And then it gives it a, a full LED glow, and plus it fills in this space down here. Um, but 
I think actually this might be added last. I might put this in last since I'm sitting here thinking about it. Um, yeah. All right. Back to this problem at hand. Let's pull the let's pull the pump and res out. We'll set it over there. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this, guys. Leave a comment. On what I should do. Should I run it this way or that way? I just installed the fans in the front. And they look good. I got one more to install. I just ordered five, five more of these. I was looking for the three pack because I bought three and there's a third one. They didn't have any more of the three packs. They only had the five packs. So I had to get one of those. It was like 24 bucks. So I one two three four and that leaves me with an extra one just in case one of them fails but yeah and since i got this plugged in i'd like to see how this works so that's what i thought i would do plug her in there we go yeah looks good I kinda thought it would light up a little bit more you know uh, oh it does it does go all the way down maybe it's because we're in the light but it's definitely giving it a glow it's, it's like a bluish purplish glow uh, I'd like to see what it looks like hold on let's undo this Now I know why these guys have these computer channels. They uh, they have cameramen. So, well, I'm kind of jerking on it. Okay, so it'll go like that. That will look cool. Yes, indeedy. Very cool. All right, moving on. Now for the reservoir light, we got a this is a cathode LED professional. They actually put the word professional in it. Light. It uh, screws in into the top and it runs into the reservoir like that and it should light the whole thing up and I spent good money I spent good money on this one so hopefully it will work and we won't have no problems um, I don't have a way of testing it right now because I don't have that type of connector but I do have a hub that is coming that will allow me to power this one also that kit that I bought has a different type of catheter in it and I believe it's longer so I'll have to see which one is brighter and which one works best when I get them so yeah that's that so out of the cool list of things that i bought um see those are the fans i got a flow valve coming an on off switch this is uh, an experiment that's the m.2 ssd i got coming and then i bought like a fitting kit but and then that right there is a new case that i got coming for a separate build but this is the thing i wanted to show you and it's arriving tomorrow. Let's see if I can click on it. Bring it up. There it is. Check this out. See it? It's a screen for a Raspberry Pi. Okay, but it has HDMI and power. So it can actually be powered separately. And it's a 3.5 inch TLF LCD display monitor with protective case. So it's going to have like a, a case that will go with it. But anyway, that is going to go right there. So that way, what I'll have is, let's see if I can give it to it. So it'll sit like right here, the screen will. And what it'll do is it'll have like my temperature readings and like some gauges or I'll put the MSI afterburner on it or something, something cool 
but anyway yeah that screen's going to go right here and we will probably have to make holes and stuff to where to drill it but i'm not going to do any of that type of fabrication until we get the actual thing here and according to this it should be arriving tomorrow let's double check let's see here yes arriving tomorrow by 9 p.m i'm excited this case right here this is the deep silent case um it's by aerocool and it's our next project it has sound densening panels in it and stuff and it has full led rgbs with it but no window side panel but um, the, th the thing about this is that the fans are actually in relation to the speed or the lights are in relation to the speed of your fan. Um, green is slow versus like red would be at a high speed. But um, that's another build. That's for a different day. But that's coming in the mail. Um, and I'll show you guys the M.2 real fast. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Okay, so here it is. It's a um, ad link and it has 3D NAM flash, NVM Express, PCI Express, and it's made by uh, Samsung. So it's a good brand. I believe it's made by Samsung. Uh, but anyway, up to 350 megabits a second. Usually I say about half of that is what it'll actually do. So even half of that number is still incredibly fast. Uh, but this is what we are going to use for our boot drive. Um, and I'm excited about it. Uh, it's my first 256 gig NVM SSD. My other one's 120. Um, but I'm really excited. And then I needed a bunch of fittings and stuff. Little fittings. So instead of buying them all separate, I bought them in a pack like this for 35 bucks. Uh, the only problem is, is, as you can see, is that they're different colors, but that's okay because we can paint them. I got a special type of paint that will paint these, but I just wanted to show you all that.